Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of OpenCart Buy Now button. Now this particular plugin allows the customers to purchase a particular product quickly without any hassles. On the product page, this particular plugin adds a Buy Now button and tapping the Buy Now button redirects the customer to either the checkout page or the cart page as set by the admin from the plugin configuration settings. Apart from that, the admin can also set up the button text which is customizable and uh, can be set up as per the requirement of the admin there. Now before we proceed further with the workflow of this particular plugin at the storefront, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So right now you can see that I'm at the OpenCart web store front end and here I'm on one of the categories that's the OpenCart buy now. So if I go to any of the products there, you'll be able to see that here on the product page on the right hand side, just above the add to cart button, we have a buy now button. Now if a customer is already logged in, if he taps here on the buy now button, depending upon uh, what the redirection has been set by the admin, whether it's the checkout page or the cart page, uh, according to that, after tapping on the buy now button, the customer would be redirected to the respective page. So for example, if I'm uh, tapping here on the buy now button, uh, we are redirected into the cart page as you can see directly. Uh, and from here the customers can uh, then make a checkout very easily by tapping on the checkout and uh, can select their billing delivery details and can continue further and can choose their payment method and can confirm the order thereafter. So this was in the case when the admin has set the redirection to the cart page. Now let me take you to the admin backend panel and let me show you the initial configurations for this particular plugin and then we'll see when the redirection is set to checkout how the customer would be quickly redirected to the checkout page there after tapping the buy now button. So I've already logged into the admin backend panel as you can see and from here to make the initial configuration settings for the plugin you need to navigate through extensions and modules. Here on the module list page you have to go to the open card buy now button, uh, buy now plugin and here you have to tap on the edit link under the actions column. Now here we have three different options. Uh, the very first option here is to enable or disable this functionality of buy now button within your store. Then we have the uh, button text and it is the name for the uh, direct checkout button. So here you can customize this as per your own requirement. We had set it to buy now. So that's why on the product page, uh, if we go to the product page, uh, we're able to see the buy now text there or the label on the buy now button there. Now coming back to the admin backend panel, then we have the redirect option and uh, here we have two options. One is uh, the redirection to the checkout and the other one is the redirection to the cart page. So we have seen the cart uh, page redirection. Now let's set the redirection option as checkout and then tap on the save button. Now here, uh, let me refresh the page once. And now uh, let me tap here on the buy now button. And you can see that we are redirected to the checkout now directly without any hassles there. And the customer can then proceed further to uh, place the order by selecting the or going through the different uh, steps there and then confirming the order itself. So yes, that was much about the open card buy now button. And I hope that this particular video helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same. If you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements, then kindly do reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uedes.com as well. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.